Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in Kyralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the president. It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
you hear me? For fuck's sake. Is it anything private anymore? Oh, uh, no. Except for taking a shower and going to the toilet, that is. I take it you were getting yourself cleaned up. Good. Come to the president's office as soon as you're done. She's waiting for you. You did well, Sam. Thank you. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Homily. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. You do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won and went west. I led them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave them be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. 
Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force, by men who tell them what to do, who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. Would you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together, to form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up Cairo network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. Take the Cupid west, Sam and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! Hold on. Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. Or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. Sam. Huh? 
Listen. You are Sam Strand. No, I'm not. Not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away, but our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Sam, this is Die Hardman. You were out like a log. Must have been beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities. Shower, toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? See how Bridges operates these days. oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just a best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed.
Sam Hartman here, researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the death stranding, as well as those of dudes and repatriates. When you relieve yourself, a certain amount of chiral matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as, in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative.
Have you had a chance to think it over? Chock full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. It won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm.
Sam, this is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need, and connect the cupid. Summaries may contain information. Make sure to review. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a. They should help with the steeper inclines and the ladder. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this or. Find someone left over there. You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying, but that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a promise made to a person in need. And they're counting on you to deliver. Hmm. 
great thing. It warped the world beyond recognition. Humanity had to scramble like rats fleeing a sinking ship. But there's nowhere else to go. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, we need to find another way. A way to overcome the BTs, the Death Stranding, the whole damn mess. Delivering cargo. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid. Not City confirmed. It's really happening. <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? 
going to be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination. Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first, start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Your hard work's paying. Say, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one.
Your cargo's been pinged. Move. Now, before someone has eyes. Oh, my God. 
doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. Good for now. When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels, it triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps.
Sam. As always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west, and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your PP to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Eh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. 
You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research as it happens. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relic, dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. 
Not just the Death Stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. And I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Curiosity. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people. Hmm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? The, the BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. Uh, should I know which... Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BB, they're your quintessential black box. We may use them, but we don't truly... Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of... If I find anything out, I'll tell you. Sam. Check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. 
Mules must have snatched it, caught the porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you.